I, 19F, walked in on my boyfriend, 18M, playing a board game alone and I'm worried. We've been dating about six months now. He loves 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 board games even though he has never played them with anyone except for me once or twice. He's never played with anyone before because well he has no friends and his mom never played with him either. I went to his house to pick up my charger that I left, to see him on the floor playing a four-player game, alone. He got embarrassed, I calmed him down and then we spent all night playing board games. But I'm worried that since he's never had friends or a girlfriend he will become dependent on me. How do I approach this without embarrassing him or sounding like a bitch? Doesn't really sound like he's likely to become dependent on you if he was playing a four-person board game by himself. Of all the things you could have walked in on this is one of the best case scenarios. He's just playing a game he's fine, don't worry about him. If he starts to act dependent then you can worry about it but until then, don't create a problem that doesn't exist yet. Playing board games by yourself isn't really a thing I see as a red flag. I've done this countless times when I wanted to see how a new game worked before I brought it to a group or just really wanted to play it. I don't think this is something that would make my mind jump immediately to, will he depend too much on me? Just take interest in his hobbies and ask to play once in a while. It's always a fun bonding time unless someone is bloodthirsty competitive. As someone who is into board games I've definitely set up a game meant for 2 plus players to practice strategy and get more familiar with the cards etc. I wouldn't read too much into it. I think it's nice you played with him all night. I'm sure that made his evening. As far as the lack of friends, perhaps look into a local board gaming group and you could go together to make him feel more comfortable. If this is the worst thing about him you are a lucky girl. It's kind of worrisome that you see your boyfriend in a sad state and your primary concern is him becoming dependent on you. Comes across as self-centered. Dude. Take him to board game nights at your local pub. Then cackle as he wins all the prizes. I think we missed a chapter if your boyfriend playing board games alone made you jump into a conclusion that he will become dependent on you lmao. Boyfriend claims he loves my boobs but only follows girls with massive boobs. My boyfriend always claims I have the best boobs he's ever seen, they're perky and on the smaller side. He always tells me never to change them or get a boob job but all the girls he follows have massive boobs. Can someone give me some insight as to why he does this? Edit. Talk to my boyfriend and he said it's easy and fun to click a button and see boobs every 10th post you see. Instagram is corrupting our lives. Edit. Side note. I used to be super active on social media for nearly a decade. Did a ton of crowdfunding. Ran political campaigns. Used it every single day for years. Then three years ago I quit everything and joined Reddit. Best decision ever. I can honestly say my life is less stressful, less trivial, and less filled with random bullshit since leaving those other networks behind. 31 Yo Man here. I don't follow any random girls on Instagram. Doesn't matter what size of boobs they have. It's thirsty AF. Question. Why the heck is he, following other girls with massive boobs? How about a no following models, no porn so that these issues and insecurities don't arise form either party? I personally would not date a guy who refused to unfollow provocative accounts. It's disrespectful emo. I like chocolate ice cream. I also like vanilla ice cream. How can that possibly be? I think most straight guys just like all types of boobs to be honest. How about tell him to stop following models and softcore porn on IG? Edit. Replying to your update. IG models and porn addiction are very big relationship killers. There's data out there I'll try and find but it links divorce to porn usage. Dot the numbers are very significant. I would honestly have a huge talk with him and tell him it's not okay. If he replies negatively or blows it off as not a big deal and replies in a way that discomforts you I would leave. As this would mean he cares more about softcore porn and IG than his real life girlfriend. Source I'm a happily engaged 23 year old male that's used to love porn and IG models. Then I realized how bad it is when I have erectile dysfunction at 20 years old. My boyfriend used to do this. I told him it made me feel like shit and he stopped cold turkey. I'm honestly so much happier now. Boy I don't miss social media. I caught my F20 brother M14. Jerking off to my bikini pics from our family vacation what now? Throwaway account as friends know my main. I wish this was a joke but it happened 30 minutes ago and I am still trying to process it. And hash x200b. I walked into his room to see if he wanted to come hiking with me. He has a gaming computer set up at the other side of his room. 
He was sitting there with his pants down to just above his thigh, jerking off to two bikini pics of me. He had them side by side on his computer. And hash x200b. He yelled at me to get out of his room after I said, what the fuck? I'm riding this in my car and haven't seen him since it happened. I'm looking for some advice on what to do next. I am creeped out knowing he does such a thing and don't think I will ever be able to feel comfortable around him. He is also a bit socially inept and my mom thinks he is autistic although he hasn't been tested for this as it is difficult to get a referral right now due to COVID. Should I speak to my mom about it? What do I say? I want to approach this in a way that isn't going to be detrimental to him, he is very sensitive. I also understand he is at an age where he is interested in girls. Talk to your mom. Incest she gets him professional help. This is definitely not something most people are equipped to handle. You can't tackle this kind of thing with a little talking. Most things like that have really deep and fucked up roots. Good luck. Yikes. I'm sorry you're going through this. I'd feel very violated and disgusted if I found my sibling getting off to my photos. I don't have much advice. You could contact a counselor. There might be free, affordable services online. They might be able to tell you how to approach the situation. You need to take him for professional help. 14 is old enough to know how terribly wrong that was. Regardless, you need to tell someone who isn't going to blow up in his face, in case he really is on the spectrum, and get him professional help so he can 1. Learn how extremely bad the situation is 2. Finally talk about himself 3. Get out of his shell and perhaps one day will be able to meet a partner like normal. Wow that's a tough one. I think talking to your mom is the best course if action to take. Hope everything works out. Need to tell your parents so he can get therapy. Going through a weird stage. Set your boundaries. Not an okay and seriously taboo invasion of privacy all the reasons it's not right. OBV get the pictures. Maybe talk to your parents as well if that's an option. Then take some time away from him. Awkward situation. Sorry skeptical smiley face. Whoa. I'm really sorry to hear this. And yes, gaining the courage to tell your mom about this situation is a good move. But like you said, it doesn't have to completely villainize him. Acknowledge that you feel violated and disgusted and take your time in processing this whole event, but also keep in mind that there has to be a reason for it and although you may not want to find out the truth for yourself, it has to be done because who knows what else your brother has been doing. I'm really sorry again that you have to experience this, and I wish you all the luck and courage. I love him, but I want to leave him. I am deeply, madly, and unconditionally in love with my boyfriend. I love him when he's angry, when he's sad, when he's cocky. I love him unconditionally. He's the person I go to for everything, he's my rock, my backbone. Everything I could ever want. But I want to leave him. Him and I are almost polar opposites, I strive to be a happy person, and I fight for my happiness and for, sunshine and daisies, but he is always angry. Since being together, every day he's at work is a bad day. Every game he plays is shit and that his opponents deserve to die or become ill. He doesn't know anything about serenity, and when he's angry, all he does is yell at me, regardless of who, what his issue lies within. I can't stay in a relationship like this. I want to be his partner more than anything. Someone who can be there for him, and someone who can bring him some light in his life. He doesn't want to do anything about it, it's to the point where he's pessimistic about being optimistic. I can't handle it anymore. When I try to give him resolutions or communicate, he just sees it as a personal attack. I've been let down so many times by his rude remarks, his verbal violence, and his defensive anger. He's not a bad guy, he has a genuinely kind soul. It's just been ravaged by the people around him and the traumas he's faced, as well as the stress he brings upon himself. I understand him as a human, and I love him regardless, but I love myself too, and I'm not about to give up my sunshine and daisies to be with a pessimist. I guess the advice that I'm looking for is literally the title of this post. How do I leave someone I love? Love yourself more. I know that's difficult to hear but it's true. You deserve better. He might have a great soul but he isn't being a good partner. You can look at someone and love them and also not be in a romantic relationship with them. Sometimes it really does come down to you or them. Choose you. Decide. It's not a process. Make it a decision and an action and go. I've never regretted choosing myself. It doesn't sound like you're actually in love with him. It sounds like you're so full of love that you want to give it to someone that desperately needs it. Basically, you have a, fix him, mentality. I'm not criticizing you, or trying to. You deserve someone as generous with their love as you are, and also to preserve lots of that love for yourself.
This sounds completely lost. You had all of the discussions, tried to come up with answers and he is not budging. How do you leave? With a heavy heart but you know what will make and keep you happy in the long run. We only have so much time on this earth. Try and spend as much of it enjoying it and being happy. Have a clear direct conversation. This is where you are. This is what broke your relationship and even though you love him you need to separate for your own well-being. You want to be his partner, to be there for him, to bring light to his life. But does he do the same for you? He's certainly not acting like it. Also, it's sweet that you have empathy for what he's been through, but you're also enabling abusive behavior. Regardless of what's been done to him in the past, he is 100% responsible for his words, actions and mindset. Nothing justifies verbal abuse and lashing out at other people. He's the only one who can heal himself, and it sounds like he's not ready to do that. You already know what you have to do. This sounds like what I'm going through right now but I'm the guy in the situation. I love him when he is sad, angry I love him unconditionally then you say you hate the way he behaves. First of all no. You don't love him when he's angry sad all the time. You should talk to him a few times if he doesn't understand second third fourth time but if he continues like a little child. Leave him. You have no time in life to waste. 